is up everybody um, this is going to be a video showing off some of my ungraded vintage collection um, everybody knows I got my graded ones most of my graded cards graded vintage are up there um, but I have a whole stack of uh, ungraded vintage some that are in the pile to go get graded but they're not graded yet so I want to just show some of those and I uh, hope you guys enjoy and um, this is why I'm constantly looking to fill my holes in my vintage PC. Uh, not necessarily all rookies, but there's definitely a bunch of vintage um, cards that I want that aren't rookies. Just great designs. Um, 53 Satchel Page is on my top of my want list. Not a rookie card, just a nice card. Um, so. Without further ado, I'm going to flip this camera around and we'll uh, show you these cards. All right, stand by. All right, here we go. First up, these are the ones in the stack to get graded. Um, I got this uh, Thurman Munson Rookie Cup. Um, speculating on this one, looking at it, probably a four. Soft centered, got some rough edges. Oh no, never mind. There's a crease. I'd be surprised if that didn't get a one. So, but that's the only one I got. So until I get a new another one, uh, that one's going. As well as this one. Uh, this one's definitely going to get a one. It's got all kinds of snow on it. Got some dinged up corners. Um, back doesn't look too bad. Uh, that little white thing's on the inside of the penny sleeve. But again, the only one I got. Billy Williams rookie. Which, by the way, is, that's a good looking card. I mean, when it's bright, not this one particularly, but when it's bright, good glossy color on it, that's just a nice looking card, I think. Uh, this one I have a uh, SGC3. This one I think is better than that one. Um, looking at that one, the centering's about the same, but that one up there has a crease in it. Um, this one, oh gosh, this one does too. Yeah, so this one definitely is not better. I just saw that. Sometimes you got to look at them in the light. And I just caught it. It's right over Sonny Jackson's bat and head uh, hat. So I'll have to look over it again, but whatever. Uh, this one I got from Nuff Said Cards. This is uh, McKeon, McKillen. McKillen. McKeon. I haven't really read much on him. Uh, this is probably getting authentic. Um, but, again, you're not going to have a T206 and not grade it, in my opinion. Uh, also from Enough Said, Rick Farrell. I love this card. I want this card graded, and he sent it to me, so I will be more than happy to send it to get it graded. Uh, it's the Diamond Stars um, uh, 35, 1935, I think. Diamond Stars. Great color on that card in person. Uh, this one has been in my collection for a long, long time. Just a matter of putting it in the pile from the other box to get it graded. So, it's the uh, 68 Hank. Uh, I don't know, maybe a two or a three. Don Larson Rookie. Um, other than the corners, uh, the centering is not too bad. The surface isn't horrible, but the corners and edges are a little tough. Um, but that's the Rookie, Don Larson Rookie. Look at the ears on that thing. <sighs> Same year, 54, Arrestus Minoso, otherwise known as Mini Minoso. I think both these ones will probably get a 2 or a 3. None of these are going to be high grade. That's why I have them. I can afford them when they're not high grade. Um, great looking card. Um, Lou Brock, 67 tops. Pretty sharp other than the off-centering and then this corner down here. But, I mean, I, th I don't know if you guys can tell me too. This yellowing on the edge, I have a couple of these that have that yellowing, I'm sure that affects it. So I just don't know how much. And then the Bob Gibson. This one's also pretty sharp. Uh, Off-centered, of course, but really sharp card. Back looks darn near perfectly centered. But uh, good picture. And then the Willie Stargell. Same, 67 tops. Color's really good. Um, 
Centering's very, very good. The, I think this one, man, this one, if it's not a five, I'd be very surprised. Uh, got this here is the uh, pesky. Or no, sorry, down to Magia. I just took out the pesky. I don't know where I put that. I think I put that one in the... I don't know why I thought that was Dom. I mean, pesky. It's got the Dom to Maggio glasses on him. But uh, I can't remember where I got this from. It's got a little nick here. Um, but, I mean... For what it is, I mean, it's 50 Bowman. The only thing wrong with it is that nick right there. Not the only thing wrong with it, but the most noticeable thing wrong with it. I don't see any creases in this light. Um, can't remember where I got this from, but again, I'm going back through my videos so I can label the cards when I get them. This one is from Amyo's Contest. The only Eddie Shut Your Mouth Murray <laughs> um, that I have. <clears throat> it's his rookie, of course. But um, it's off-centered. Corners are rough. I don't know. All right, moving right along. We're going to zip through some of these. Got the feller. This is really Toro. That's why this isn't in a uh, the grade pile. There's spots all over it. It's paper loss on the front. 58. 58. 68. Tom Seaver. Rookie Cup. It's got a somebody looked like they were maybe writing something and then got some ink on his face. Otherwise, I'd send it away. 68. Rod Carew. This one I might send away too. Um, be a low grade, but I might send that one. What up, Reindeer Studios? Scott. Don Mossy, rookie. How can you not love a face like that? <laughs> oh, man. I love baseball cards. Ah, oh, here we go. Dale Murphy, rookie. Uh, way, way off center. That's why it's not in the, uh, in the lineup. Another 77 here. This one's not horrible. Um, it's off center top to bottom. Andre Dawson rookie. Let me look at it real quick. Oh yeah, I know why. It's diamond cut. So you can see that there's less room here in the border and more room right here. And the same down here. You can see it's diamond cut. You go with the line. So still nice to have though. I forgot I had this one. Look at that. I might send this one. I'm definitely gonna send this one. 74 highlight or 75 tops, but it's a 74 highlights. Uh, Hank Aaron. So I need to put this one in the uh, in the grade pile. I forgot I had that one. Here's a 65 Aliba. I want to get his rookie so bad. This card's really really nice as well. Um, second year, third year, second year I think. 64 is his rookie year, I think. I'm drawing a blank. But, nice card. Uh, Louis Aparicio. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Jeez Louise. Sorry about that. I didn't bring my water up here. Uh, 59. I have this one graded already. The copy I got, I was just looking at it. It's a five. It looks way better than this one. But I got these in a buy from a the our mine and lose honey hole that's no really no longer really doing cards. Uh, Richie Ashburn and Mays. Good looking card, but it's got a ink spot right there. Mini Minoso. I love this stuff. I mean Lou let's see. Lou um, Orlando. Man, even Mangini, Rue Dog, um, man, Brent, Nearman Musings, uh, James, uh, Elite Hunters. There's so many guys that are really, every time I watch their videos, they're really, really getting me more and more into collecting Latino players. And I'm very, very seriously thinking about trading or selling off a good majority of my modern stuff that doesn't really fit in my collection. I have a, a tendency to just buy everything that's shiny and that jumps out at me. Um, I'm like a, a barracuda. You know, they see something shiny, they go after it. Um, but I'm really drawn 
more and more to the vintage and the Latino players as a whole. Um, so, sorry, this is going to be a long video. This one's not bad, but it's got some, I don't know if you can tell on camera, yeah, right there, the paper's like lip, lifting up on the edges. These are all ones that maybe if there's a big deal, I may, I may just go through and if there's a good deal on um, grading, I'm just going to go ahead and throw the, uh, throw the, the grading bomb. If there's like a $10, I know probably won't ever happen, but a $10, $11 deal with SGC, I may just throw them in. The 75 Seaver. It's a very clean card too. Um, that's a definite possibility. Uh, this is a Giants peel off sticker. Uh, I don't know what year it's from. I can't remember. It's Fleer. So I'm guessing it, it might not be. It's definitely not vintage. But um, that's just been in the pile. We'll put that over here with a non-vintage. Don Zimmer. Um, I believe this is his second year. I think this is his second year. Got that for a real good deal at a card show with Lou and Sticks and Seams up in the villages. I like these. I'm like Dylan, Double D. I love these things. <clears throat> and he's more and more getting me into the cards that, like, I don't think I have one in this stack. But let me see if I have an example. No, I don't have any of them. Where like it'll sh 75 did it a lot. He just showed some in his video where they'll have a card of each player, and then I want to go get th that card, like the 75, and then get the cards that's inside the card. I think that's pretty cool. A couple of these sporting news: Johnny Bench and uh, Pete Rose. Good-looking cards. Uh, maybe someday graded. Uh, this is a nice <clears throat> Stan Musial. Musial. What up, Donnie? Live stream. little blurb there about him. Here's one that's some dinged up corners, but it's got a really bad tear in it right here. Can't remember where I got it. It's a 70. Seaver, Necro, Jenkins, Marischal. It's kind of a no-brainer to get that. Um, I got a few of these Deckle Edges. There's Louis Tiant, Willie Mays. I may send that one away too if there's a uh, I may send all these away, other than the Louis Tiant because it's way off centered. Um, if there's a good deal, or maybe these are some that I'll send to C uh, CGC. I keep wanting to say CSG. Louis Aparicio, Rod Carew, and these are 69s. And if you look, where the heck did it go? Oops. Same image. For this 69 or 68 to this six I believe this is 69 deck edge could be 68 but they use the same image either way uh, Jerry Kuzman this is another one that I probably wouldn't send away but look at that face that's a Bob Lewis card all day long stove card Hoyt Wilhelm gosh look at the teeth on him and then uh, Bob Gibson so you know what did they use the same what did I just have that was a Bob Gibson? 67. I think they did. Nope, different. All right, so there's your decal edges. I got a double D vintage favorite with the triple 68. Matty Lou, Tony Gonzalez, and Bob, better known as Roberto Clemente. Um, this one would go. Um, but there's it would get a stain because there's a tape residue right there, so I think it might get an ST for stain. Uh, let's see, Darren Johnson, Frank Robinson, Willie Mays. I'm gonna zip through some of these here. We got Gaylord, Gaylord Perry. It's not a crease; that's the batting cage. Tony Oliva. I mean, I have a decent Latino collection going as is. This Bill Scourin. This freaking thing. Let me look at this closer. Yeah, I think this is the one. I believe this thing, if you can look at it really closely, look at those corners. The edges. The bottom corners. 
I think this thing, man, seven maybe? Eddie Matthews, same type of thing. I think I might send these in. This one's got a nick down here though on the bottom. There's another, Louis Aparicio. This one's from Jimmy Guns. This is go. I am doing the 67 set. Uh, that's why you see a lot of 67s. I got a whole stack right there, all 67s. Um, I am doing that set, just so you know. And this is a set card, a filler card, because it's got lots of paper loss. Otherwise, man, I would send that in in a heartbeat. But it's 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 a mess. But I appreciate Jimmy Guns sending that to me. He knows I'm doing the set. So Billy Williams. Good looking card, good looking copy. Mr. Joe Torrey as a catcher. I'd love to get this one signed. I just don't know where to send it. Cleet Boyer. Lou Rock's buddy, or boy, Elston Howard. Everybody is Lou Rock's boy. My boy, my man, my boy. I love it. Just like Scott, everybody's BFF. You know what, I'm gonna adopt the, uh, everybody's gonna be my brother from another mother. There you go. As heard right here, copyright 2023, Mr. Fishbike. Don Drysdale. Bengals Belters, Cash and K-Line. Uh, it's a nice card. There's got to be a reason I didn't send it, or not sending it. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, the Champs, Frank Robinson, Hank Bauer, and Brooks Robinson. This one's got a ding right here in the thing. Ding in the thing. So, Rocky Colavito, Leon Wagner, Tribe Thumpers. I like Rocky Colavito. I got an autograph of his. He was good. Uh, Lee May, rookie. Not a huge star, but definitely a name I've heard. Who's that? Who's that? Mr. Willie Mays. That's who that is. And then I got this one, actually both these, from Jake, Ticket Leprechaun, uh, George Sparky Anderson rookie, it's off centered, but very nice card. And last for this video, this very long 17 and a half minute video, Jake, I've showed this before, um, there is a crease in it, so I probably wouldn't get it graded. But it fits perfectly fine in my in the mag here, and there's a stain there. But um, maybe, like I said, one day if there's a great grading deal, um, maybe I'll send it away. But uh, there's some glare for you, Scott. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And catch you on the flip side. Do something nice for somebody.